Hi guys, today in this tutorial we will be discussing about a nice event inside JavaScript which lets you clear out the HTML input fields out there. So let's suppose this is an example we are taking here. This is a simple registration form out there. And basically you can see we have two input fields out there. Here you can enter your username and then you can enter your password. And basically then if you click the register button here you will now see it will say that the user has entered this much username and the password is this and there is a second button out there guys which is called as reset values so basically if you click this button all the entered information will be cleared out if i click this you will see form cleared if i click ok you can see that automatically all the information that i entered inside these input fields are gone this is called as reset event inside javascript basically you can attach this event inside your form html form using a attribute called as on reset and also you can define a function as well so let me show you all the ways by which you can attach this event right here all the source code i will give in the description of this video you can definitely take this example code and copy paste it so just go to the description of this video to, for the blog post so let's start this video so just create a simple index.html file guys so right here we will have a simple form here we will be giving a id to this form so that we can target it inside the javascript that's it and right here guys you will have the two input fields out there input type text and here the user can write the username so we will be giving a id to it so that we can target in javascript and we will give it a placeholder guys which is enter the username and this will be required guys this will be required for the form validation that's it you can see that now we will move to the second input field out there which is for the password so this will be type password here like this and we will be giving an id to it of password like this you can see that and then we will be giving a placeholder to it enter the password you can see that and it is also required you can see and then guys we will have two buttons basically the first button will be to, to the submit the form input type submit and here the value we will be giving to the this button guys which will be register and we will be having the second button guys this time the type parameter will be off you can see various type parameters are there we, this time this will be reset so this is specifically the button which is able to clear out the input field reset the input fields so here we can give it a value let's suppose reset values like this so that's it guys so now if i open this form here you will now see there will be two input fields out there and basically here you can enter your username and password and click on register and reset values and uh, let me just disable this extension so if you just refresh it you will see now you can enter username password and click on register so this form validation is there so it is just asking you to fill out this field before you register and right here now guys we now have to write our javascript code so we will now write the javascript code here so basically first of all we will target this form element guys so we will targeted by the id that we have given to this form here you can see we have given this id so we can get the reference of the form here we can say document dot get element by id and here we will perform just pass the id that we have given to the form element you can see we have given the form id to it we are just giving it and now we have got the form reference after this guys we will attach a event listener to it which will be add event listener you can attach like this and basically the event will be submit so whenever the form submits what happens so this event parameter will be automatically passed here at the, at the callback function and here first of all we need to prevent the auto submission of the form so we will call this method e dot prevent default after this guys what happens we need to catch the value which is the user rights here so we will say document dot get element by id username dot value so you can see we have given this id to it username and uh, similarly we will do that for the password as well document dot get element by id password dot value so now we can simply display this information guys right after the form we will give it a div which will have a id of info and here we will be displaying the username and the password so we will simply say that document dot 
get element by id info and we will manipulate the inner html of this element and basically here inside backtick symbol we will write the user has entered the username value to be the user has entered the username and then we can simply attach the username like this and the password is followed by the password like this so basically if you see right here the submit button will work definitely if i write a username let's suppose geeky kotum and password one two three four five six click on register you will see the user has entered the username geeky gotham and the password is one two three four five six but if i click this re reset value guys you can see nothing works you can see basically it, this is working right here you will see that this reset button is working if you click this button basically this is working because of the attribute that we define here this is a button this is of type reset reset here so we have attached this button that's why if i click this the form is cleared you can see that now once again i can write the value and once again it will change so for a normal reset button guys you just need to add this input statement basically if you just want to perform the normal reset operation then you do that but you can even do like this also let's suppose uh, after do if you don't provide this input button let's suppose i comment this i don't provide this i just comment this out if you want to attach it directly inside javascript there is a function out there what we can do we can after just putting this we can simply uh, say this dot reset there is a method out there basically it resets the html form so this also does the same thing after you click the register button so as i click the register button guys after entering the username and password click on register you will see uh, there is i think there is a method we need to call this on the form object form dot reset i think this will reset the form for us click on it now you can see that automatically as i write the value i don't need to click on a button on reset to reset the form automatically after you enter the information the uh, form will be cleared automatically so this will be a very good application guys because in many applications you need to clear out the input field after the user has entered the value so as you click the register button automatically the fields will be cleared out you can see that so this is a method of javascript of for resetting the form basically this is used for resetting the values inside your html form if you do it if you want to do it using javascript there is this you need to call this on the form object so form reference we have got the reference using its id and here we are calling this method reset this will actually clear out the input fields so there is also one other way guys you can attach this basically using an, using an attribute so let's suppose you at assign an attribute which is called as on reset this is the attribute which is there if you want to attach it using an attribute you can directly attach it to the form element and here you can attach a function which is reset values so we will call this function guys so whenever you want to reset the form basically what will happen so whenever we call this function this event this attribute will fire this function so we need to create this function so this is very much useful whenever you want to do something whenever you want to clear out the input field so here we can say we can just alert the user that form is cleared or simply show some kind of a pop-up window so now what will happen here basically if i click the register button you will see form is cleared you will see that why it has happened because we call this method here form dot reset this again uh, basically triggers this uh, function which is on reset this attribute will trigger automatically whenever you reset the form right in inside your javascript and this function will execute reset values and it will just show you alert statement that form is cleared and basically if you don't if you just want to do it like this using a button also you can do like this so just comment this line we don't do it we are do it directly using the html you can see that if you do like this this will also work you click on register the forms are not cleared so there is a button out there for you for the user to reset this you can see that form is cleared so anyway any which way guys you can do that you can display a pop-up win, uh, window as well by attaching this uh, on reset 
to the whole form object as well so i have attached i have just explained you all the ways by which you can attach the reset event basically to your form to clear out all the information inside your input fields and i think you can even attach directly to each and all individual fields as well so let's suppose you want to clear out this input field let's suppose i think let me test it with the input field as well so now if i clear out this um, reset no i think it is only applicable to the form element you can't attach it to an individual input field so that is the form reset event guys inside javascript and how to reset values of html form whenever they are entered so this is the way by which you can do it using this on reset attribute and also using the reset method in javascript and i think uh, this is all and once again i forgot to uh, just tell you form event listener and there is also this reset event also so you can also attach it attach it like this also so this is basically the event you can attach it using javascript A reset function so basically you can say reset and here you can also say the same value form is cleared you don't need to have a function you can clearly define this function right here itself and for this you just need need not have to do like this don't need a reset function for this i think you don't need this if i delete this basically what happens you write this click on register and sorry if you, you don't need this input field here because whenever you click this reset automatically this will execute this function for you so now click on reset you will see form is cleared because it is calling this uh, event here which is we have defined here similarly we have defined the submit here we have the reset also and now if you want to define a function custom function for this so you can just simply call this function which is reset values like this so we have defined this function so clearly all the ways are very applicable so you can see that reset values form is cleared and one other shortcut is also there let's suppose you want to attach it directly you will say on reset and then simply this arrow function it's a very simple syntax here guys you can see form is cleared you can also attach like this form reset and you can also do it for the submit as well so it's it will save a lot of space <laughs> on submit like this this is also applicable this is valid code out there you can see a lot of coding is saved here you can see very short syntax if i open this now reset register will work reset will also work you can see that so this is the way guys i have explained you all the methods so please hit the like button subscribe the channel and you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code i will be seeing you in the next video